you have a PDF that you need to convert into a DWG file so that you can edit it inside of AutoCAD? Well, as we continue our discussion around PDFs and AutoCAD, that's precisely the topic we're taking a look at in today's video. Hi there, I'm Donnie Gladfelter from thecadgeek.com where we focus on empowering design professionals just like you with AutoCAD tips, tricks, industry insights, and more. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing to our channel. And of course, don't forget to click that bell icon so that you don't miss any of the great videos we post. All right, before we jump into things, there are a few housekeeping things to take note of. The first of which is the tool we will explore today was first introduced with AutoCAD 2017. So that means if you do use a version of AutoCAD older than 2017, then you will need to find a different workflow. Uh, there are a number of ways to do this. In fact, I have a video I posted some time ago talking about how to use Adobe Illustrator to convert from PDF to DWG. I'll leave a link to that video if it interests you in the show notes below. Likewise, the other big thing to take note of is the type of PDF I'm working with matters. So not all PDFs are created equal. The PDF that I use to convert to DWG, it needs to be what's known as a vector PDF. Kind of translated, that means the PDF needs to have been created with, say, AutoCAD, Revit, MicroStation, even Microsoft Visio or Adobe Illustrator. So a program that actually stores entities as lines. If the PDF you're working with came from Photoshop or even Microsoft PowerPoint, or it was scanned in from an as-built, um, all of those would be considered a raster PDF, meaning that the lines are actually stored as pixels, not a line with a start and end point. So assuming you're working with AutoCAD 2017 or newer, and the PDF you have is a vector PDF, then this workflow is going to work for you. So with that said, before we jump over to AutoCAD, one thing I want to take note of inside of this PDF is its drawing scale. So if we zoom in here, we can see that each of the elevations were drafted at a scale of one quarter to one. So with that information, we can jump over to AutoCAD now. And just so you can see, there's nothing up but my sleeve here. This is a fresh drawing created from ACAD.DWT. The only layer in this drawing is layer zero. So with that, how do we go about converting a PDF into a DWG file? Well, if you thought about coming up here to the application menu and choosing open, you're not gonna find any of the tools that we need here. However, if we scroll down a bit, you will find under import, there is the option for PDF. And that's one place we will find the tool we need today. The other place we'll find the PDF tool is under the insert tab and under import, there is a PDF import button right here. Both are the exact same tool, although I do prefer navigating to this in the ribbon because while we'll talk about these maybe in another video, there are some tools here that can help me with some of the cleanup I might wanna do after I import my PDF. Nonetheless, however you get to this, we'll go ahead and click on it here. I'm going to browse out to the PDF that I would like to import. And we'll go ahead and click open for this. Now, when I do this, AutoCAD opens up the import PDF dialog box where over on the left-hand side, it shows a little thumbnail of all of the PDF or all of the P uh, sheets inside of this PDF. Now, in my case, we're gonna import the elevation sheet, which happens to be page number one. So I'll go ahead and select that. Now, if I look on the right-hand side of this dialog, I have a number of settings and I can essentially tell AutoCAD just how to I want to import this PDF. Now, one of the first settings that I'll probably want to take a look at is the scale. And you will recall, I suggested you take a note of the drawing scale of by PDF. In my case, I took note that it was a quarter to one and the scale factor for that is going to be 48. Now, apart from that, we can choose all sorts of things about how AutoCAD actually takes the PDF geometry and makes AutoCAD geometry out of it. Um, one of the other ones that is important to note is the layers here. This will create layers. I can use PDF layers. I can actually use the layers that are inside um, or just put everything on the current layer. I tend to use the PDF layer option right here. Likewise, we have all sorts of uh, settings that you can toggle. I suggest that you find the ones that work best for you. 
convert solid fills to hatches is helpful, but depending on the complexity of your drawing, your mileage might vary. And the other one, depending on the complexity of your drawing, um, the inferred line types from collinear dashes is another one where your mileage might vary. Nonetheless, for the purpose of today's video, we'll just take the defaults and I'll say OK. And when I do that, it's going to do its magic, taking a look at, once again at all of the entities inside of the PDF and converting those into DWG entities. So there we have it. Here is that PDF actually converted into AutoCAD entities and everything is at real world scale or real world units because I typed in that scale factor of 48. Now, if we really interrogate this, uh, some things you'll take a note of is some of the object types might be a little off. For instance, I would have expected these lines to just be regular lines, and we'll see here that they happen to be polylines, but this is a wonderful, wonderful starting point and far better than having to redraft everything. The other thing worth taking note of is the layers inside of this drawing. Right? I selected the PDF option, and as a result of that, if I take a look at the layers in this drawing, you'll see that all of them are prefixed with a PDF uh, prefix. So I can very distinctly see that the geometry on those layers was derived from a PDF. But that's pretty much all there is to it. Autodesk has made it super simple with the PDF import tool to take those PDFs that you might have and convert them into DWGs. So there you have it. I'm Donnie Gladfilter from thecadgeek.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to catch you in an upcoming video. Take care.